Our phones are amazing. We can text people, talk to people, stream movies, listen to podcasts, do our online banking, and the list goes on and on. They're amazing because they have a power source called a battery. If the battery goes dead, the phone is limited. In the same way, the cell has a power source called the mitochondria. Mitochondria are amazing and cool. They're found in plants, animals, fungi, protists, and any other eukaryotic cell. They can change shape quickly and move around the cell when needed. When cells need more energy, the mitochondria can reproduce by growing larger and then dividing. For example, say you want to get in shape. As you exercise more, the mitochondria in your muscles will increase in number and navigate to the edges of the cell. This allows these muscles to have more energy. If the cell needs less energy, some mitochondria will die and become inactive. Mitochondria are very similar to some bacteria. For this reason, some scientists think they may originally have been bacteria that were absorbed by more complex cells. This theory is called endosymbiosis. During cellular respiration, with the help of oxygen, the mitochondria produces 25 ATP. Compare this to only 3 APT produced by glycolysis in the cytoplasm. Thus the title, the powerhouse of the cell. But why is this a big deal? In order to do something like this, ATP is required. But how does this ATP help? To carry out life processes, ATP continuously is broken down into ADP, like a rechargeable battery. And this releases a huge amount of energy which is used by the cell in several metabolic processes as well in building micromolecules such as proteins. ATP is critical for the contraction of muscles. ATP supplies the energy to move the muscle proteins. ATP is essential for certain pumps like the sodium-potassium pump and the calcium pump. The sodium-potassium pump ensures that our cells have the correct amount of sodium and potassium which is essential to stay alive. The adenosine from ATP is a building block of RNA and is directly added to RNA molecules. During transcription, DNA is copied to messenger RNA which carries the information needed to make proteins. No proteins, no life. So the next time you do any of this, you can think the amazing and cool mitochondria. You know, the powerhouse of the cell. Thanks for watching, and Movie Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.